welcome back to another episode of other buys today i'm going to show you how to change the battery in a watch so this is my mum's as you can see it's not working not ticking either so i'm going to use my uh Jorist watch repair kit to have a go at changing the battery so the first thing you need to do is have a look on the back and look for the how you get the watch off most watches particularly fashion ones just flick the back up so you're looking for some sort of indent on this one it's near the stem the indent there I don't know if you can see it so we're going to pop the stem out and use one of the tools in the Joris Watch Repair Kit. So I'm going to use this one to pry the back of the watch. So first off, I'm going to try and go in there. So I can't get in there, so I'm going to go for one of the edges. And there we go. Popped it in. Popped it straight off. So now we need to check the battery so we're looking for the number so you might be able to see on there 379 so that's the size of the watch battery so we've got some 379s here so now we need to get that battery out so you just need some sort of little prying tool so i'm going to go with tweezers so go with the tweezers just to try and flick the battery out. And use this little metal tool instead. Just need something to sort of flick the battery out. Need to hold on to the movement so it doesn't flick out. one there we go there you go battery out put that battery to one side make sure you dispose of these safely in some sort of battery bin recycling center because otherwise children can get hold of those and swallow them really not good so we get our new battery Make sure you don't mix it up with the old one. Let me just pop that in there. And there we go. Popped in, pop the stem back in to make sure it's ticking. This one doesn't have a second hand, so I'm going to pop it to my ear. If I see if it's ticking. I mean, it's ticking. I don't lie to you. It does have a second hand. There you go, ticking away. So now we need to get the watch back, back on. <clears throat> so you're checking your back, making sure the notch where the stem goes is lined up and now you can put that on you can either use brute force to force it back on or in some watches you might need a watch press to press it on so i've got a watch press here so i'll pop a link to batteries watch press and the watch repair kit in the description so i'm going to try brute force on here and it should click in you hear it click there done Sometimes watches have like a rubber seal around the edge to keep it waterproof. So if you've got one of those, make sure that's in there. If it's getting stretched, you're going to be better off buying a new, new seal for that. So there we go. Watch prepared. Now I'll hopefully have a happy mother now that's sorted. If you like this video, found it useful, don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. And if you want to get any of the equipment that we've discussed, there's some links in the bios to get those from Amazon. Thanks very much, guys.